Hello everybody! In this video, I will show you how I made a flower crown with bunny ears. With Easter coming up, I had to make something for the occasion. So here it is. I first drew out my ear. I made it about 8 inches long because I wanted big ears, but that just depends on your preferences. From there, I made my patterns for each piece with a 1 4th seam allowance all around. I went for a cotton brown fabric and pink lace fabric for the inside of the ear. For the headpiece, I used a brown fleece square. I also got myself some fake flowers and jute twine. I first cut out four pieces of the ears, two of the inside of the ears, and two of the headband piece. I'm going to put two of my ear pieces together and sew all around the outer edge. Then just trim away the excess. For the inside edge, I first cut the tip 1 4th of an inch in, which is my seam allowance, and then folded in the edges, pressing it with my iron to keep it down in place. Then I twisted two pipe cleaners together to make a stronger strand, and then attached two of those together. I then walked it around the outer edge of the ear to give it the desired shape, then put it in the ear. To hold it in place, I did a few hand stitches going in through the ear stitch line. Now it's time to put the lace in place. Basically, just pin it and sew around the edge. You want to sew as close to the edge as possible. And I actually used my zipper foot for this because I thought it was easier, but maybe it was just me. When that was done, I added some filling to my ears, which is optional, but I feel it gives it more dimension and helps hide the shape of the pipe cleaners away. Then I used one of my headband fleece pieces, marked where I wanted the ears, pinned them, and sewed them in place. And of course, cut away the excess of the pipe cleaners. Now we can put our ears aside. Time to work on our other headband piece and add our flowers to it. Get your flowers and arrange them as you like. The arrangement will vary based on the flowers you choose, like the color, the size, just get creative. I did a few hand stitches to hold the flowers in place, or you can just use a lot of hot glue, or even both. I also ended up adding some ribbon in between my flowers. You can also use fabric, tool, or anything that you think will improve the design. Next, I cut my jute twine at around 57 inches, and then I hand stitched it at the center and ends of the headband fleece piece. Now I can just put the two pieces together and hand sew them together all around the edge. Last but not least, I decided to glue some jute twine around the edge of the inside of the ear. And of course you can just keep adding anything that you think will make it look more beautiful. As for me, that was the final touch and my bunny ears were done. I opted for this method because I know how to sew, but of course it's something so simple that can be easily glued on or hand stitched, especially if you use fleece for the ears. Whatever method you use, it's the flowers that give it that beautiful spring feeling to it. A perfect prop for your pictures this Easter. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.